Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I realized that there was a recent release of some new shades in the Always On Cream Shadow from Smashbox. It was to celebrate their collaboration with the film Suicide Squad. Now, I am not the biggest fan of those type of movies, uh, so I haven't seen it or anything, but I am a huge fan of the Always On Cream Shadow. I will link down below my initial review of this product, as well as all the swatches. I do have quite a collection of the original shades, and I picked up all of the shades in this collection. So there are five shades, they're all right here. And I thought I would do something similar to what I did in my previous video. I'm gonna swatch them on my eyes, and I'm also going to provide you some comparisons with the previous shades. So let's get started. The first shade is Bloodsport. It's this one here. It's sort of this really pretty, murky, almost pukey, I said that. <laughs> Pukey shade. It has some green in it, which is why I say some green and some yellow, which is why I it kind of gives me that pukey vibe. I think it's really pretty and sort of unusual. It's looking a little more yellow on camera, but in real life, you see more of that brown, more of that green greeny kind of undertone so that's that shade there and again you see like they're so easy to blend out um i like to use my finger but i also have for some and probably the deeper shades some synthetic brushes lying around which help blend but it's really user friendly it's a very user friendly product i'm going to apply this shade this peacemaker it's this vibrant yellow Another great shade to have as a base for many, many eye looks, especially kind of those sunset eye looks. This one has a lot of vibrancy, and that's that one here. And let me just compare for you some of the original colors and see if you really need it. Um, the yellow is probably the easiest. Um, they originally had released ochre, which is a little more mustardy, definitely not as vibrant. So that is ochre there, and that's Peacemaker. So pretty different. I'm, I'm happy to have both. This ochre is almost as though if you were to combine these two shades, you would get ochre. I don't really have a good comparison with Bloodsport. Probably the closest one I have is Sepia, but this is Sepia. So you see this one's much more neutral, this one's much warmer. The next up is this purple shade, which I was very excited about. It's called Mongol. It's this brighter purpley shade. The shade from the initial release that was purple is this one here, Violet. And Violet is not an exact match. It's a bit dustier. Just so you can see on the eyes. So it has a lot of pink to it, this this one. We can try to build it up a little. To get more of that purple. That's more purpley. Don't think I don't think I needed both in my life. And now we're gonna get to a fun fun shade. This one is Javelin. It's sort of a, a teal. Now the teal colors that were in the original collection or original release were the shades I was most excited about. And this shade here, this is very much like a peacock blue. Build it up just ever so slightly just so you could really see the pigment. All right, so that is Javelin. It's really pretty, like I said, peacock blue. Going to swatch it on the back of my hand along with the other two teals that were in the original collection. So that would be 
ultramarine, and cerulean. So here you go. This is the Javelin shade that was just released, the one that's on my eye right now. This is ultramarine from the previous collection. This is cerulean from the previous collection. And if you combine ultramarine and cerulean, you get this shade, which is awfully familiar <laughs> looking. Um, it's nearly identical to this shade. And I think if you kind of play around with mixing, maybe adding a little more of the ultramarine, you can easily get to that shade. So again, probably not one that I need in my life, but if you don't have all the colors like I do, um, and one of these attracts you more than the other, I would just pick up the one that uh, makes you happier. So that's a quick comparison for you on that. The last but not least is the black shade and it's called Harley Quinn. This one is has a really nice pigmentation and will make a fantastic eye base. This is, it's always nice to have a, a really good, effective black base on hand. And I think this one's wonderful. I had to jump off camera and focus on putting on this black one because it, it, it can get quite messy and I had used so much eye makeup remover in between that I think I still had like a film of um, eye makeup remover that wasn't letting it completely adhere. But we sorted it out. I wanted to show you what layering a shadow would do. I have a bunch of my Cleona um, multi-chrome shadows and these are really, really stunning, but they're even more stunning if layered over white or black. And these are beautiful. If you've never tried Cleonid shadows, they are worth their, their price tag, I promise. So I'm going to use Lunette. That's this one here. And maybe on my other side, I will use a totally different color, um, Forge, which is this shade here. That's just an example. Um, these shadows are really beautiful shadows on their own, but they're just, you're able to see more depth in the color. I wish I would say I, the only thing missing for me in this collection is a white, a real bright white. I feel like that would be just perfect to help mix with other shadows in the collection. One of the most fun things about this product is how easy it is to mix shades and really customize them. And I just, I, I love that about this product. That's how I use it too. And having more of those kind of foundational shades like a black which i applaud that they <laughs> brought it in well i can mix black with any of the current shades that i have and i'm going to be able to get deeper richer colors as well so i'm very excited about that let me know your thoughts are you going to pick any of these up are you going to pick up some of the ones from the original collection again like i mentioned i will link down below um, my original video and at the end of this video I will have swatches of all five shades. So uh, thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care everyone. Bye.